Hi folks, welcome to the Saber Zone. This is the video on the channel that discusses what you had to say. So I'm gonna look at a clip. We're gonna talk about it, because this one has me pumped up. This one made me feel good. All right, here it is. Shout out goes to Chad Cousins, and he says, I'm excited, I'm proud, and absolutely love the direction of the organization from the GM and coaches down to the staff and players in Rochester. I'm loving what they are building here. And yes, Chad, I can't agree with you more. What a turnaround we have done since this guy named Kevin Adams has come in as our general manager. You know, in the beginning, I had my doubts about him. I'll tell you right away, my journey as, you know, just starting to really trust this guy is in the beginning when he wasn't firing Kruger, I, I really was worried that this guy just is not gonna have the balls to do things. You know, this is what worried me in the beginning, is like, when are you gonna fire this guy? Like, I didn't even hate Kruger, and I grew to hate Kruger, because he overstayed his welcome at the end. He just, it got, it got to the point of ridiculous how bad it was. And he, um, he finally got rid of him, and where I wanted to really see what Adams was gonna, because every channel out there was talking about how Adams is gonna blow this whole ride with Jack Eichel. You guys heard it, you've seen especially the Toronto channels, you know? Those channels were all saying, what's he gonna do? He can't get this trade wrong. How do you get it right? When you gotta trade away your franchise player, how do you get it right? Well, you get it right by waiting till you get a deal, a good deal that you can live with and say, okay, okay, this is good. We can, we can handle this, that kind of thing. And this is why you seen at the end, Jack was gonna file a grievance and all this. It's like, screw off, honestly. All, all these, these spoiled brats in this league now, guys, give me a break. It's like, don't pretend it's your neck when you asked for a trade the year before. Please, you know? But he held on. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't sway to that pressure. He just didn't give in. He didn't give in. And for me, that showed me this is one hell of a GM. This is a good GM because the team's already under fire. They're under pressure. They're under scrutiny. They're under everything that you wanna throw out there, any kind of title he can, and he just didn't care. Adams didn't care and said, no, we're standing, we're staying the course, and we're gonna do things this way. And that takes guts, and that's what we want. We want a general manager, guys, that has guts. A guy that's gonna trade your favorite player to help us win a Stanley Cup one day. A guy that's not gonna sign your favorite player to win a Stanley Cup one day. Those things, those are the things that general managers that are successful do. They don't give in to public pressure. They don't give in to public demand. They just don't. They do a vision and follow it. It's like they get a vision and they follow it. And they put under blinders and they walk right down the middle to that goal. And that's the kind of general manager I believe we have. I really do. I really think general managers like Kevin Adams are rare. We got lucky here. We got really lucky and we fell in. You know what? And so did Granado fall onto our lap. You know, I remember that video still that I made when the channel was young saying the Granado era has begun because I, I thought it was just a free shot at a coach. It's just a free shot. And the way I was looking at things, guys, is that we're due for some damn luck on this team. We're due for some change. We're due for some good to happen. Everything can't be bad all of the time. I just don't buy it, you know? I leave that for the negative fans. I do. I, you know, that... Like their negativity, they can take home and I'm glad it's not me, you know, honestly. Those are the type of guys I just tell them if I, was, they, if I was trying to help those guys get sober and they were negative like that, I'd just encourage them to go drink, get it over with, go get drunk, <laughs> go get it over with because that's what you're looking to do. And it's the same thing with fans. You know, when they come and they're negative and they're, 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 they're looking for any, any angle to pick on this franchise and they're supposed to be fans of this team. I just tell them, go be a Leafs fan then. Really, go be a Leafs fan because you're looking for reasons to complain. The Leafs fans complain about everything. So send them over there. He'd fit in, whoever it is, will fit in perfect over there. This is a, a, a franchise that years ago, we were really proud of this team. You remember 06 and 07, Chad, come on. You know, like how good was that team 
how good were things going, you know? And how close were we? My goodness, we should have won the Cup in 06. We all know that. We should have won the Cup in 06. There's only one year I've watched in my entire life, I, I, I will say, and even before 75, I would say the 06 squad should have won the Cup because we were rolling going in. The Sabres in 75 weren't supposed to win. They just weren't. I mean, they were right up there, but they weren't really supposed to win anything because they hadn't really done anything yet in their entire history till that year. So that, that year, though, in, in 06, that was different. And that's why we're building again towards those glory days. Except this time, let's finish it off. Let's get it done. Let's hoist the damn thing. Finally, let's get our hands on that trophy that really should rightfully been ours 16 years ago. And let's get it done. Really. <laughs> Man, I want to see this team win a Stanley Cup as bad as any of you guys. I really do. Look, as, as the plan unfolds with Adams, I think it's becoming more and more obvious. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. This guy really has ideas that are really starting to gel and starting to it, it, the team is just looking better and better guys it's it's you know like i i just finished watching the game today i'm gonna do the post game as my last video today and uh my goodness they looked good today they looked good today i know they you know they 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 i, I was tripping at the end of that game though when they scored i, I got I actually got to see this game today and um I, yeah, I was losing my mind when they made it two to one when Kajula scored. I was like, oh, come on, come on. Like, you know, they're hanging around the zone and they're watching the Pittsburgh throw it around. It's like, wake up, you know, take the guy out, hit him, Th hit him on his ass. Enough of this stuff of turning and twisting and turning and twist, like lay them out. We got to get meaner. That's something I'm going to, I'm going to start harping about. I can tell it's bugging me already. It almost cost us today. The Sabres would have been more mean. We would have, that would have been a laugher today. We would have won like 6 nothing, if the Sabres would have been more aggressive. But it's preseason, so I'm not going to whine yet. Not yet. But it's coming. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, a good post, Chad. It's appreciated because, yes, I feel the same way as you. I'm happy from top to bottom. I finally feel like we have an organization. Again, it's the first time since Lindy and Darcy are gone. I feel like this organization is finally intact and moving forward in the right direction. And that glory days are coming. I mean, that's obvious today. My goodness, how good we look today in certain points of that game. Power coming up the ice with the puck. I swear he looked like a giant Bobby Orr out there today at certain points. I was like, my goodness, this is going to be one scary team when these guys all get a bit older, smarter, stronger, and even more hungry because I think that's what's coming next with this team is they're going to be hungry for wins. That's the, that's the next thing that's coming. So as this unfolds, let's just enjoy it. Let's not look for the bad because there's going to be some bad. We're developing. We're in the development stage. We're not in the championship stage. Not yet, guys. Not yet. Stay calm. Stay cool. Stay the course, like Adam says. All right, folks. See you in the next one.